Good morning. Well, afternoon. And welcome back to my channel. I keep forgetting to say that every time. Um, I always just say, oh, good morning or good afternoon. It gets a little boring hearing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know what I'm doing this morning. I'm just making a loaf. I just felt like soaping. Um, I soaked last night made this beauty. I'm calling this one white gold. So, waiting for this to get um, done so I can open it up, take it out, cut it. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're just going to do this. Um, we're going to be fragrancing this in Strawberries and Champagne Dupe by Victoria's Secrets. One of my favorites, of course. I say that every time. And I'll show you my colors here in a second. colors will be Mocha Brown by Nurture Soap, Voodoo Pink by Mad Oils, and then we just got Titanium Dioxide. So, we'll mix this up a little bit. This is a larger batch. I'm going to be piping a little bit. So... Um, I don't know, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos that I've done before, like my beginning videos. I have been soaping since I was a little girl. Um, my grandmother taught me how to soap. Uh, it wasn't all this fancy soaping, so I am not new to soap at all. I'm just new to some of the techniques, like the stick blender hot process and things like that. Um, but I know a few people come on my page or my, my uh, channel and, and suggest you know that's not how this person does it and this that's not how this person does it or this person does a stick blender hot process or and i just want to put out there i know this guys i know this like the people you're mentioning i've already watched and the people that um this is i'm just adding some coconut milk and some yogurt but the people that they're mentioning i've watched plenty of times um, I know that they do videos I know that some of them don't do the exact same way I do and I know I do the same way that some do so you know it's give or take I mean we all get ideas from each other I mean, honestly, everybody, every one of these soapers on YouTube are copying off of our grandmothers, our forefathers, our foremothers, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The elderly women that used to soap way before us. So, I don't care if so-and-so does this or so-and-so does that, so please do not leave comments saying so. Um, I'll just delete them. If I feel you're trying to be funny on my page. Trust me, I've watched all of the ladies on YouTube. Some I find I don't like the way they do things. And others I find I love the way they do things. Um, and of course, I'm sure we can all guess the ones that do awesome are the very, very popular ones. And then sometimes them girls and them ladies have um, mistakes as well, so. I just know somebody said something about uh, one of my videos that Tina, and I'm friends with her on Facebook as well. Um, she runs that coaching business on, or something like that on Facebook. Um, but somebody mentioned that she don't she uses her whisk for her stick blender hot process. <laughs> That's fine. Like I said, um, the first time I tried the stick blender hot process, I did do it like Tina. And I used my... Hmm. And I used my um, whisk. But the second time, which is the video I recorded, I used my blender. 
because I have issues with my hands from when I worked. It's called carpal tunnel. And I don't know about them, but that crap starts hurting after a minute. So <laughs> the second video, I was not doing it with my hand. That was just too much, guys. So yes, I know some people do it differently. Not knocking the way Tina does hers. I love the way Tina does hers. I love her videos. Uh, hot process queen. She does awesome hot processing. I've watched her. Um, I watched a few others. Um, Kim over at Essential, is it Essential Depot, I think. Watched her. Watched plenty. So, you know, we all do our stuff differently, guys. So, I don't know. Somebody is trying to be funny, or because I'm not doing it like them, I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what their point was, but kind of hurtful. I think I need a little bit more than that. We'll make this to pink and brown. I want more pink and brown than white. And I really don't know what color I'm going to make that piping, so. Okay, let's get this party started. We're going to use this for the white. Uh, let's do this. We'll use this pink. This voodoo pink. So pretty. Somebody else said something about um, um well, what's her name? Crystal over at um Sea Light Candles or something like that. Okay. She does hot process and I'm like, mm, okay, <laughs> your point. A lot of them on YouTube that do hot process, honey bunny. Like I said, I don't know if they're trying to be funny or what. Like. cat just took a big old poop and he stinks. Thanks a lot, mister. I had to do that while I was staying here doing something and couldn't go away, huh? Little butthead. Sorry guys, I'm rinsing out my blender over here. Okay, now the pour time. Fun time. Let me see. I love brown and pink mixed together and gray and pink. Honestly, I love them two colors mixed together. They're so pretty. Let me just make sure you guys can see. Yeah. If my arm ain't, my ugly old arm ain't in the way. Normally, I pour this into another one, but I don't feel like dirty in another dish. Pour a little bit, just a layer of this on the bottom. layer of that. Some white. Some more brown. This is going to be pretty. Probably from my spatula there. Oh my goodness, I love the smell of that. Strawberries and champagne. It's my favorite um, body 
fragrance as well from Victoria's. I have enough left over to pipe with this stuff too. Maybe. Just put the rest of this brown in here. Yeah, again, I mean, I don't take it offensively to somebody's suggesting. I don't know <laughs> if they don't realize that people do watch YouTube, you know what I mean? And honestly, I made soap years ago and never even thought about putting any videos up until I started watching it again here recently. Well, not again, but just started seeing all the soapers and I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me do that. Because, <laughs> you know, I like watching videos, so I'm sure others would love to watch, or others love to watch videos, and I even like watching my own videos, so you learn something new every day. This is so pretty. Now I don't know what color I'm going to make this piping. I don't know if I should make it brown, pink, white, I think I'll make it white. And we'll just put the rest of this in here, you guys. Maybe. Might be too full. Yeah, we'll make it. So we'll make the piping white. Again, I don't know if these people are telling me about these other soapers is trying to get to me or I don't know what their intentions are. I don't take it personally. I just want to let you guys know that if I find that you're being funny, I'm going to delete your comment, period. Um, I don't know if you're trying to advertise somebody else's channel on my page or what. Um, I don't have very many followers yet, so... Of course, I just started out probably about five months ago or so, so I wouldn't have very many followers, you know. I don't want to mess too much with the inside. Because I think it's going to be pretty as it is. Let me pick the towel. Oh my word, my cat stinks. God, he has to do that every time. He's a butthead. Okay, now we're just going to pour this into here. And I'll make it a little bit more white. This is going to be our piping. No, 
signs down, pull my sleeve up. <laughs> might take a while to pipe up so I'll have to bring you guys back in a little bit I'll try to mix it up some and then I'll bring you guys back oh you guys can't even see that I'm sorry here she is there's the bottom so very pretty and we'll set this in the fridge while I wait for my piping to set up because I started soaking it a little bit um, warmer temperature than I usually do so I'll let that slide up and then we'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, we're back. And I think it's pipable. It's pipable enough. <laughs> so I really hate to cover this up because it's oh so pretty right now. So so pretty. But I want to pipe, so it is what it is. Got our alcohol. Normally I don't pipe like this, you guys know this. But today, I am, because it's such a small, and I'm using a smaller tip, too. I hardly ever use these small tips. But, let's get started. I always spray your alcohol on so it sticks, and I'm not piping any certain way. I'm just piping. I am going to start right here, because I have markings, and that will probably be my end piece. Okay. Be kind of cool if I just let it show through, honestly. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like they're getting farther apart. <laughs> oh well. This is my favorite, favorite piping tip. It makes such cute ruffles. I have so many piping tips, it's not even funny. Look at all these piping tips I have. <laughs> There's some stuck into each other. <laughs> That's a former cake maker for you. I can pipe, that's for sure. As long as my batter don't play along or plays along with me, I, I can pipe. Only because I used to decorate cakes for a living. I miss my job, I just don't miss the place I worked at. <laughs> Bunch of crazy folks. I used to be able to, I used to be a people person. Customers used to be my favorite, but shh, anymore I can't take it. We are just going to go ahead and pipe in the middle because I can't stand them gaps right now. We'll just cut right through them, I guess. Plus, I have so much left over, so I don't want it to be too high. Still so cuteness. Don't have to be extreme on the piping, people. Without it still not looking, without it not being cute. I notice it is not. I think some of the soap went over the edge, but that's all right. We will come in here and put little dollops. Make sure everything's covered on this side and we're not. Alright, now. You guys still see? Yep. I want to spray some hmm, glitter. I got three kinds in here. I got the twinkling. Actually, I mixed those two together, so I only got two kinds right now. <laughs> we'll just use it all. Screw it, right? Um, spray with alcohol. This is the hollow. And when I say hollow, it reminds me of my nail friend, Christine. 
See, when I first started YouTube, I started to do nail videos. And I had gotten a certain job where I was not allowed to do nails no more. I shared a couple pictures of my nails. I'm a pretty good nail artist. So, nail videos was my thing. But, after that I had to find a, another hobby. And I just remember my grandmother teaching me how to um, do soap. And so I was looking up some soaping videos and ran across... Uh, these gorgeous ladies as, um, such as, um, Katie from Royalty and Kenny from Royal Appleberry and we got Kathleen from Dirty Booty Soaps. I love her channel. Um, Miss Kathy, um, uh, there's so many, you guys. There's so many soapers I love watching. And we all, we all have our own unique little way of doing things. Yes, we may all get ideas off of each other and collab with each other. And, you know, that's the whole reason of sharing. I always, if I get an idea from somebody, I, I try to make sure it's not um, copying exactly what they are doing. You know what I mean? Like, because everybody pipes. Well, not everybody, but most, most soapers pipe. So, we know... Most of the time, that's our piping queen, uh, Miss Katie over Royalty Soaps. Although, I used to pipe for a living. She was on YouTube first and doing this before me. Long before me on YouTube. So, you could call it, she's the piping queen. Everybody calls me the piping queen on Facebook, but <laughs> I call Katie the piping queen. Um, and then you got, uh, see Kim who is Kim and um, we also got uh, oh, what's the other one she's a hot process queen can't remember her channel she's an awesome one too but we all get ideas off each other who knows who the very first super was on YouTube who cares who cares if this person does it this way and this person does it this way? I don't always list every single thing that I put in my soaps in my videos because I'm not a tutorial. I'm just entertaining. So, you know, when you're getting bored or you can't go to bed, hey, let's watch some soaping videos. Maybe you come across mine and maybe my boring stories will make you tired and you go to sleep. <laughs> But I've been told I was funny. I don't thank you, thank you. I don't think I'm funny, but maybe funny looking. No, I'm kidding, guys. But yeah, I'm just I'm giving you guys another glitter show. That's what you can count on me for is a glitter show, right? I think that's enough <laughs> before I ruin it. We'll throw a little bit of the hollow um, on top. I actually bought one of um, Christine's hollow shirts. It says, hello, it's me. And uh, it's in a hollow. I'll have to show it to you guys one of these days. Christine from the uh, soapy ch or the nail channel. Um, nail logical, simply nail logical. She's got quite a few channels, honestly. So, all right, you guys, there she is, as beautiful, glorious as she is. So pretty and shiny and glittery and just heavy. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to throw this in the fridge. I throw all my loaves in the fridge. Oh, God, I wish I could save. Look, look at this. I wish I could save all that and put that back in my bottle, but I can't. <laughs> Anyways, um, I throw all my loaves in the fridge. I do not gel my soap. I don't, I don't know. I just, from experience, it gelling it always cracks on me no matter what I do it just cracks even if I turn my oven on yes I know how to gel you guys so please don't comment well this person does it this way yes I know but it does not work out for me like that for some reason I cannot get the hang of gelling and honestly I really don't care because I don't find there's a difference some people say there's a difference when you gel yourself I don't think there is but I throw all mine in the fridge so 
sorry, I'm trying to explain this and clean up my glitter mess at the same time. Um, but yeah. So, another soaker is Beth over at Soaking Night Owl. Love her. She's got a Facebook cha channel too. But yeah, there's just so many of us. They're so awesome. We're awesome soap makers. Anyhow, you guys, I want to thank you for joining me for this pretty masterpiece. And uh, you guys stay tuned for the cut, and I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, we're back to cut the strawberries and champagne, the pink, brown, and white. Look at that swirl. Isn't that gorgeous? And it smells so good. All right, here we go. I might have to turn it on its side. I don't know, I don't think the piping's too high. But yes, it is. So we will have to turn it on its side. Dag know it. That's all right. Look at those swirls. They're so pretty. That was from a drop swirl. The other side. Dag know it. I really need to invest in a new cutter. One of these days I will come up off the money for it. But for right now this one does just fine. There we go. That ought to solve our problem. There we go. See? Does just fine. Isn't that so pretty? And the piping's just so bright and white. So pretty. I think I got too close down here, like a dummy. My ice machine always be scaring me. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at those swirls. Looks like a beating heart. <laughs> got the bumps on there from the cutter most wire cutters do that just lightly rub your finger over them Sure, it looks even. Dang it, it moved on me a little bit. <laughs> oh well, I don't think it messes my cut up. Those are so pretty. Loving it. I don't know what it is, but I love brown and pink mixed together. And honestly, uh, pink and green too. I could probably trim that off a little bit, but that's all right. Uh 
Where'd that bump come from? Oh well. close to edge. That's where that's coming from. Dum dum. <laughs> Always call myself a dum dum. That's alright. I usually uh, get the edges with my potato pillar anyway, so I'm not too worried about the edges. That's what I'm worried about in this. The pretty, pretty top. Sure is messy. It's been sitting almost two days too. Okay guys, sorry about that stupid phone said I didn't have very much time left, so and now it's only saying I got 11 minutes. I don't see how that is, but whatever's clever, we'll get this cut in 11 minutes. That looks like maybe two bars left to cut with an end piece to go, with an end piece to boot. Come up there. I know if I push it down hard, it's going to leave a mark. Okay, rub my finger across because of the silly bumps. Isn't that gorgeous? I think these are my prettiest swirls yet. piece. Whoops. I don't know if anybody's ever seen them bumps. Hold on, I'll get this other bar and show you. It's a caused by the wire cutter. Let's see, the first couple ones I didn't mess with. Yeah, I did. Um somewhat hmm got them on that one kind of I don't know if you can see there's a bump 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 <laughs> if you lightly rub your finger over them see they're gone they're caused from the cutter. So, all you do is lightly rub your finger over top of them if anybody else has that issue. I know somebody on Facebook asked once about it and I told them I was like, ah, that's from your cutter. I said, just lightly rub your finger over top of them. And she's like, yay, thank you, that worked. <laughs> so, I helped did somebody out and I feel good. Alright, guys, well, there you have it. Strawberries and champagne piped. And pretty, pretty, pretty. 
I want to thank you guys for joining me. You guys give me a thumbs up. Hit that share, like, whatever you want to do. Have a great day, evening and stay tuned for the next video.